after I'd finished in bands, it was about the age of 23, because I had a bit of a break from 18 to 23, because I wanted to be a pop star. <laughs> and um, the, I, I just applied, as many people do, I think, to many universities. I knew I wanted to do physics, but I applied to, I think it was uh, Liverpool and uh, Edinburgh and Durham, just the, the usual kind of bunch of first class universities. And I didn't know where I wanted to go because I'm from Manchester. So if anything, I was um, thinking I should move out of my hometown and I should get away. But when I came to Manchester, I think it was a, a combination of the, the history of the place. Jodrell Bank was a huge draw for me because I started doing astrophysics actually. And to be at the university that owned the most famous radio telescope in the world was a big thing for me. And also the, the staff that I met and the research that was happening at that time, back in the mid-90s, to, to me just really captured my imagination. So almost against my instinct to move out of my hometown, uh, I came to this university and I've stayed here ever since. Now the Earth is just over four and a half billion years old. For, for me, what I enjoyed about studying physics at Manchester was the, the, first uh, the like breadth of research that going on in the physics department. I mean, I can't overstate the, the importance of that. If, you, if you're going to be taught you know, about lasers, or you're going to be taught about astrophysics, you're going to talk about particle physics, quantum mechanics, the best way to be taught is to be taught by active researchers in those fields. And this is a huge advantage that Manchester Physics has of, of being so big that we have experts across pretty much every field of physics that you're going to study. So, so you can really go and get that, that enthusiasm and knowledge from people at the cutting edge. And I think that's probably fairly unique because, because Manchester's such a big department. If you heat something up, then it emits light. So you know that if you get coal and put it in a fire and set light to it, then eventually it starts glowing red. The modern and world is obviously it built on right science. Right. You know, everything we take for granted, from, from medical imaging, medical science, medical technology, all the way through to, to mobile phones and cameras and satellites that allow us to have global communication, global positioning system. Anything you talk about requires expertise in those areas. So I think just for just for those reasons you're absolutely valuable to an economy if you take a science degree but I think there's more than that because I also think that we need uh, first-class researchers because the whilst the technology of today is based on the science of yesterday the technology of tomorrow will be based on today's science and you do not know what you're going to find out about the universe what we know is that exploring the universe trying to understand how the universe works has been uniquely and incalculably valuable in the past and there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't be so in the future. Being a scientist is, is, is more than just the job that you do, it really does shape the way that you look at the world and, and what excites you and what interests you. It, give, it gives you the uh, tools I suppose to, to really appreciate nature and appreciate the universe for, for what it is. Uh, which is magnificent. I mean, I actually don't think you can appreciate the true magnificence of the universe unless you know a little bit about what we discovered. So, so for me, it, it just um, it's it's a path to a, a, an excellent career. It's a but it's also a path to immense entertainment. <laughs> you know, a real sort of, I don't know a, a box of treasures. This whole sort of now, those vast kind of amount of knowledge that we've accumulated over the last 400 years since we worked out how to do science in the first place. Right. So we know because we understand the physics of how stars work, the science of stars. How I, I think it takes you a bit of time to learn how precious and, and how valuable your time at university is. I mean, being an undergraduate actually is the time when you learn most, right? It is, is the most astonishing time when, I mean, for me, certainly, I felt my brain was kind of waking up um, and I was going to say waking up again, but actually waking up for the first time almost, because the amount of information you, that you, is fed to you from, and the, the way that it's fed to you and the number of experts in every field that you get to talk to and interact with, it's a real unique experience. So for me, it, it was more valuable because I kind of, I knew that was going to be the case because I'd chosen to come back and, and do it. So my advice is always um, get your A-levels because I think there's no easy way to do that. But I think when, when you've got them, when you're 18, if you feel like taking a year off or a couple of years off and doing something else, I think for most people that's incredibly valuable. And you'll come back 
because you want to come back. And I'm really lucky because I have a, a, this kind of diverse scientific career now. I mean, I, I started very much in research, absolutely focused in research, but I, I, it's kind of broadened out into a lot of public talks, uh, making television programmes for the BBC, which has allowed me to travel around the world, meet a lot of interesting people, also meeting politicians and, and really arguing the case for, for universities and for science, which I think is so self-evident that you shouldn't have to argue it, but you do. I mean, you know, t without going off on some kind of political rant, universities form the foundation of our society and our economy and we spend relatively little on them. I think they're incalculably valuable. So, so the, the chance for me to, to go and make that case as well as, as, as do science and, and do research and also talk about the research in a, in a way that people hopefully find entertaining is, is very, I, I'm lucky to be able to do that in a very profound sense.